Hi! In this tutorial I'll show you how to use the new presets function in Qt Sound 0.6. Uh, it's very handy for storing presets uh, for the widget panel because you don't have to bother with any C sound code. So basically what you have to do is just move your things to make it sound however you want. So I'm going to say this is maxed out. Let's put all the faders way up and bring this to the corner, everything to the top. Of course presets will work with uh, any kind of slider, knob, but it will also work with uh, text, uh, boxes and, and any cutesy sound widget. So what you need to do is right click and you will see down at the bottom of the list store, recall and new preset. Uh, you can do a new preset straight away, but I'll show you store presets first. You can see that you can overwrite an existing preset, but since there are no presets currently, well, this list is empty. So you can only do a new preset. You need to give the preset a name. I'm going to call it maxed out and give it a number. This is just number one. As we'll see later, the number is a different value to the index. The index is the way they are ordered, but the numbers can have any, any kind of order and meaning you want to give them. So let's save this one. So now if we wanted to store the preset, we would have that one as an option. Let's say, let's do another preset. This is, let's take all of these down. Let's bring this one to a sine wave all the way down. And now let's create a new preset. This will be a min. And let's call it number two. So now we've got two presets. We can, can show them to you. Number one and number two, maxed out and min. And to load them, we can of course use the menu item recall preset. And there they are on a list. And we can double click to load them. You can see that the menu changes. Everything works like it should. Um, say we want to just change these two. We can now store the preset. Minimum. Okay. Now if we go back again to recall presets, maxed out will be like this and min will be like we left it. So that's it for now. See you in the next one.